Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a menu board within our content editor. Now to start this out, I've brought in the text widget and what I want to do here is I want to title my restaurant and today it's going to be Rod's Pizza. From here, I can go ahead and adjust the font size and even my font family. In this case, I'm using a font that I've already uploaded using our file manager. Now that I've done that, I want to go ahead and resize it a little bit more here and have it be centered on the left hand side of the page. So I'm going to put it there for now. I think that's okay. And next, what I want to do is bring in our image widget. With our image widget, my goal here is to bring in a chalkboard so I can change the color of my text later and make it look like it's on chalk. So all I'm doing now is using our presets to align our image and resize it so it takes up half the page. From here, I'm going into the file manager and finding my chalkboard, and choosing the file. Now I just need to resize this a little bit more using our presets. And next, I need to also move this text over so it's centered. There we go. I think that will do. Now I need to change my color to white so it looks like chalk. And there we go. Next, I'm gonna bring in some more text. And in this case, I want to name my pizzas that we're going to be offering. We're going to be doing pepperoni, cheese, and supreme. There we go. And just change my font color to white. And let's pick out that font. Let's try something different here just to mix it up a little. Um, don't know how I feel about that one. So let's just change it. I think this one will do. There we go. That works. So now what I'm going to do is reposition this. And then what I want to do is copy and paste this. And I'm going to speed it up here for our other pizzas. I'm going to put the prices as well here. Taking full advantage of our copy and paste feature. All right, now that I've added the prices, what I want to do is go ahead and bring in our images here. So I'm going into my file manager and I'm going to choose a PNG of a pizza. And then I've got my pizza. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this and then choose my other pizza styles as well. All right, now that that's done, I just want to reposition it a little bit. And then I want to add a description for each pizza. So I'm going to bring in a text widget. I'm going to start typing out the description. And we're going to speed up the rest here and change it to white so it also looks like chalk. All right, now that we've added a description and we have our pizzas as well as pictures of what our pizzas look like, Let's go ahead and add a image gallery widget so we can show multiple photos of some of our pizzas. Once again, taking advantage of our presets to make sure that we get exactly a fourth of the page here. Just going into my file manager and looking for my photos. And I'm going to upload them. And there we are. But first, I need to change my animation to fade as well as get rid of the caption so we don't have the image name anymore. There we go. And now what I want to do is I want to bring in a video. So a video of one of our pizza slices being pulled up from the tray. So again, using our presets to quickly align our video. And there we go. Now we have our video. Now what I want to do is I want to add an animation to each pizza. So it will go ahead and fade in when the menu items, descriptions, and prices appear as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose fade in for the inner animation and then delay it by one. I'm also going to have the fade in animation for this pizza as well. And now I'm just going to speed up me adding some animations to the rest of the items here. 
And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delay them separately so they don't all come in at once. Alright, now that we've done that, what I need to do is save our content and then preview. Now you can see our pizzas are fading in as well as our descriptions and they're fading in from the left. All right, so that's actually gonna be it for this video on how to create a menu board within our content editor. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at wallboard.info. Thank you and see you next time.